Um, we are at the Glen Echo Gallery, where I'm having a show through the month of October of current work that was done over the past eight months. Uh, I have a collection of vessels and wall pieces, and I'm one of the artists in residence in Glen Echo Park, where I have an exhibit once every two years. Also have a studio here in the park that allows me to teach classes and pursue my own work. And uh, I guess my first instructor, uh, Richard Maurer, was the biggest influence for me getting more involved in working with clay. So uh, I guess it, uh, Richard had a, a major influence, as well as uh, uh, the young woman I wanted to meet in the ceramics class. She had a major in influence. And uh, I later married her. And we, we both went off to an art school out in Colorado together. So those two factors uh, kind of uh, got more involved in clay. Uh, Richard Maurer and, and uh, my wife, Suzanne. Um, but I enjoy teaching very much. I enjoy the interaction between working with the students, in particular the, the new student who's never been exposed to working with clay before. I find it very satisfying to, to see them sit down for the first time at the potter's wheel. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun working with people. And, uh, and there have been several people who have gone on as beginners here to establish their own studios and facilities in the area, which is also very satisfying. I like working with the clay after it sets up a little bit more so than throwing. Uh, some people like throwing more than, than trimming or finishing or refining the clay. Or some people like to, to fire pottery. Some people enjoy glazing and decorating more than throwing or whatever. You know, each potter or ceramicist usually has one particular stage that they're more fond of than others. And, and mine is after the clay is set up, it's the trimming and refining and assembling the various components. And I got more involved in, in decorating these vessel shapes that were still very functional and practical to use in the kitchen. And um, got very much involved in, in surface embellishment, uh, only to realize that, that uh, it seemed natural to, to take, uh, since I wasn't making a living as a production potter, as a, as a teacher and uh, a director of a ceramics facility, that uh, I could explore some other possibilities based on the traditional vessel form. And I'm still working very much in, in that vessel form. Although the pieces are, are non-functional now, they're, they're still based on that, <clears throat> that feeling of the vessel and having some distant past purpose. Uh, and I think some of the, what I'm trying to conjure up with these particular vessels that I'm doing now uh, is a uh, uh, to try to evoke a sense of some some function based on a, a distant past uh, uh, in a sense of a celebration or a ritual. <laughs>